service, oh God. Father, Lord, I thank you because you are the Lord that healed thee. Father, Lord, you are the God that healed our disease, oh Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He led me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord that he led me. You are the Lord. My healer, you set my word and heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You set your word and heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Sent your word and you heal my disease. Hallelujah, Lord. You are the Lord, my healer. Father, Lord, we thank you because you are our healer. We give you praise today because there is no one like unto thee. Jehovah Rapha is your name, our healer. Lord, today we thank you because there is power in your name. And at the mention of your name, every knee shall bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your word say, God have highly exalted the name of Jesus far above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you, church, in this healing service today. Today, I want to be doing some prayers more with us. But before we go there into some healing or prophetic healing prayers, there's this scripture that has pounded over my spirit from the morning. And I have used this scripture to meditate. And I want to share this scripture with us before we begin to pray. And the Lord has been using this word to speak to me. is in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse number 19. And I would like us to read that scripture. The Bible says in Luke 10 19. It said, Behold. I have given unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The Bible said, behold, he has given us power. He said, behold, I have given unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion. 
When I look into this word, church, this is the word of the Lord after Jesus Christ have defeated the enemy in battle. And as getting such a profound recognition and reputation about acting, speaking, and acting on the word and seeing the word manifested. He said to you and I, he said, Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent. And when I look at this word to tread upon serpent and scorpion, I begin to look into that scripture, serpent and scorpion. The Lord is say he has given us power to tread, to trample upon them. He has given you and I the authority to walk upon them. And today, before we go into prayers, there is a lot that is happening in the airwaves that the enemy is trying to actualize through the activities of serpent and scorpion. And one singular reason the enemy is doing this is to sow the seed of fear and doubt. And now, what do you understand by the word serpent and scorpion? The Bible make me to understand that you and I have been given the power to tread upon them, which means you will be above them. They are below you. You will live beyond this serpent and scorpion that the Bible talks about. And how does the enemy operate before we begin to pray? Today, the Lord is saying to me, every bluster and range of serpent and scorpion. Every rage. When the serpent or the scorpion wants to bluster and rage, they begin to now try to terrify. One of the acts of a serpent is for the serpent to range and scorpion with the aim of terrifying. With the aim of putting fear and doubt. And that is why serpent and scorpion are full of anger. They are full of rage. They are full of bluster. They are full of empty threats. Because you have Jesus and the Bible say, I have given you power. So these are the tricks of the serpent, the deceiver, to sow a seed of fear and doubt that you will become terrified. In time like this, there is a lot of things going on in the media that you and I should just put aside. There is a lot of tricks of the enemy that is going on in the media that the children of God, the enemy, the serpent, the scorpion, wants to take away the focus of the children of God from what the word of God said unto us. What the word of God said unto us is that behold, he has given us power over all these maneuvers and tricks of the enemy, wherever they are coming from. One thing that I know, the Bible says we will tread upon them. And today, do not allow any media, do not allow any WhatsApp messages, any media messages. What I want to encourage you is to anchor your faith on every word that the scripture has spoken and lead by that word. So today, the deceiver and the evil one are there parading all evil, sometimes parading fake news and parading evil to sow the seed of fear so that that fear will become greater than the word of God. But I say to you today, do not believe what is going on. Do not believe in any news that is not based. The scripture have already told us that at the end time, things will happen. Let us take our focus from what is going on and from the scientific reason for this and for that. But what I want to encourage you and I is to hold on to the word of faith and begin to claim it and know that I have power over serpent. I have power over scorpion and I will trample all over them. Andalama sakarama sandalama shaya. Somebody is going to join me today. When the Bible says he has given you power to tread upon that, God is saying to you and I, is the power to tread upon death, sicknesses, demonic operation that is being carried out by serpent and scorpion. We all know how serpent and scorpion bluster and rage. All these, they are terrifying tricks. We rebuke every rage of the serpent. 
I know the serpent is raging. But I stand in the name of Jesus in this healing service today to say to you, all their rages is an empty rage. You have Jesus in the inside of you and greater is he, is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So today we are going to do more of prayer. And no wonder we started by worshiping the Lord and singing the song that said, I am the Lord that he led thee. He is God. He is Jehovah. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the God that he led you and I. And that is what we stand for. And God said, I've given you power over the activities of the scorpion, of the serpent. They will not sting you. They will not harm you because you are traveling. You are over these activities and the tricks of the enemy. Death and sicknesses and demonic oppression. Plague are all the work of Satan and their demonic tricks. But I stand here today. You will overcome completely all the tricks, all the bluster and the rage of the enemy. I say to somebody today, the devil will not terrify you. I say to somebody today, every things, every means the devil is using to bring fear, to cause rage, to terrify you. We take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. I look into this word of God in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. And I begin to see what the word of the Lord said. And I want us to rest our faith on what God said. That you and I today will overcome the power of the enemy. And this word of God said a lot of things that I want us to see. The number one thing that he said, behold, I've given you power. I've given you power to trade upon. Which means the number one thing God has given to you and I is authority. The second thing God has given you power to trade upon. Look into the word of God. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. He is giving you authority. Authority belongs to Jesus. And if he has given you authority, no weapon form against us that should prosper. Then number two, he said to trade upon serpent and scorpion. I want you to look at it. Number one, authority that Jesus has given you and I. Number two, he has given you power to trade upon, to walk upon serpent, to trade upon their tricks and all their games, all the tricks of the evil one to terrify you. Today, in the name of Jesus, no demon will walk through media to terrify you. The word of the Lord is greater than all those things that is going on in our media. But people of God, the word of God is here and amen. Stand on the authority of God's word. Believe that Jesus has given you this authority. And believe also from this scripture that you have been given power to walk, to tread upon all these rage of scorpion, all these rages of serpent. The Bible called them rage. The Bible called them we will tread upon them because you know why? These demonic symbol that the Bible describes as serpent, as, as scorpion. You know that one of the way they operate, they brings a lot of fear to terrify you. But we are not ignorance of the devices of the enemy. So I want you to understand, you are above. God has given the church authority and the authority that God has given the church, even the least in the body of Christ, in the kingdom of God, God has given the least the authority from his word to tread upon serpent. And that is what the church must recognize. That we have been given power not to be afraid. That no matter what happened, you are, that is to say to you and I that there will be serpent, there will be scorpion. The Lord knows that these days of serpent and scorpions are coming. Hallelujah, Jesus. I see somebody before we're going to pray right now. I see you in the name of Jesus. You are traveling. You got authority in the world. He said to you and I, I have given you power. And then he went further to say, not only the power that I give unto you. Number two things today, you will walk on them. You will trample upon them. Whatsoever you trample upon, you got authority over. That means you are above that. I'm above Corona virus. I am above the pandemic that is going on. And that is what you should know. Every other theory 
A God is above them. Do not listen to some of those things because some of those things are to put fear and to sow the seed. I consider those things as the scorpion, as sapping, blustering, and raging. So people of God, this is number two things. Then when you go further into that scripture in verse 19, the Bible went further to say, and over all the powers of the enemy, Number three, and over all the powers of the enemy, whatsoever that try to fight you is an enemy that try to stop you. But the Bible said he has given you power over all the power of the enemy. That is to say to overcome all the powers of the enemy. That is the meaning, to overcome all the powers of the enemy, to stand and believe it. Number one, Authority. Number two, to trample. Number three, to overcome all the powers of the enemy. And that is how the church ought to move today. I look into this scripture before we go into some powerful prophetic prayer this evening. I want you to see what the Bible says. And when you look at it, then it says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. The number four thing, I've given you number three. The number four is nothing. Nothing means nothing shall in any means hurt you. I speak to somebody today. What is going on will not hurt you. And this is the word of God. He said nothing shall by any means whatsoever means whatsoever the devil is trying to do. Stand by the word of God. Do not begin to search on your phones and begin to look into those things that terrify and all man-made theories. I have seen believers going into different areas, diving into where they should not even dive into. Instead of them going into the word of God to know what the word of God says concerning them. The devil say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you in the book of Acts of the Apostle? I stand here today to let you know when you know your authority, when you stand by the word of God, I'm telling you today that the plague this day, God knows that this time is coming. There is nothing that you can do about it. But what you can do about it is to live above it, is to tread upon. God knows that this hour cometh. God knows that this season cometh. God sees it. Some of the things we're praying for, let me tell you, God sees them that they're coming. But the good thing is that God has given you a place of refuge. And that place of refuge is in him. And that is the only thing that people of the world will see and run to thy light and run to the light of the salvation that is in your life. Stand up on the sure promises of his word and continue to speak the word only over every situation. And I tell you, you will win so. What I see, what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it for good. I see a great harvest coming into the kingdom of God. During this corona season, it shall come and pass. But I want to say to you, I see a harvest. Prophetically in the spirit, I see harvest coming from the top, from the government down to the little person below. I see God using the situation to bring salvation to the earth. I see God calling people, showing people that there is only one place that is the secret place of the most high God. And when we come to that secret place, that is where we are saved. My brothers and my sister, it is a time for revival. It is a time for the church to arrive. The Bible says the people shall be willing in the days of his power. I see revival coming. It's an opportunity for the church. It's a time for you and I. The Bible says in the book of Romans, the earnest expectation of the creator of God waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. Let me tell you, God has given you authority to manifest. Brothers and sisters, rise up. There is a great harvest. Rise up. Salvation is in the air. I see God releasing that grace for salvation and many people coming to the seven knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing 
means nothing. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing will hurt you. And that is what the word of God say. I believe it. I receive it. I stand by it. And I confess it. I go by that word. And that is what will be seen in your life. I hear the Spirit of God said unto me, This is the hour has come when many shall run to thy light. It is not the time to fear. It is the time to speak the word of God. It is the time for harvest. It is the time for salvation. Many people are looking for Jesus this time around. And I speak to you. Listening to me today all over the world, wherever you are seated, hearing my voice today, I speak to you and I invite you to receive the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, to come unto him. And when you come unto him, I want to say to you, you are blessed and you will be covered. He said, fear not, you will be covered, you will be you will have this authority that I speak about. You will have this power to trade upon. You will have this power to overcome all the powers of the enemy. And then nothing shall by any means hurt you. You will not be hurt by any things. No means, no weapon, no man-made weapon will hurt you. We are living in the Bible days where the Bible end time scriptures will be fulfilled. But let the scripture keep going fulfilled. Let the word of the Lord keep coming to pass. But let the children of God at the same time continue to show forth his praise. Show forth his glory. Show forth his light. In this healing service, I want to encourage us before I pray. Take on the word of the Lord and march forward. The word of God will never fall to the ground. I feel the fire of God all over me today. And we are about to go into some powerful prayer that the Lord will lead me to pray today. We're going to pray for the nation. God is a healer. God is a miracle worker. I know you've been receiving a lot of messages, but I am so blessed in my spirit and led in my spirit today that you will join me in an intercessory prayer. You will join me in an hour of prayer whereby we're going to pray for the war. We're going to pray for the victim, for the people that has been attacked, affected by coronavirus. Whether it is called COVID-19, whatsoever it is called, I am one person that knows that there is a pandemic, there is a sickness, and the Bible says this sickness will not come near us. So I don't want to give any meaning to any other thing, but to say there is a sickness in the air, or there is a sickness going on, but it will not come near our dwelling tent in Jesus' name. So today, you will join me. And we're going to pray. We're going to speak the word of God. We're going to say all that have been affected in the nations of the world. We will command the fire of the Holy Ghost to dry up. The fire of God to dry up this virus. Let that fire that came down in the days of Elijah. When Elijah said the God that answered by fire. Let him be God. Elijah said this is a time. There was an opportunity. There was a confusion in the land of Israel. Elijah said enough is enough. The God that answered by fire, let him be God. And Elijah called fire from heaven. Children of God, today you will join me to call fire from heaven. And we are going to ask that fire to devour every virus. To kill them and destroy them. We are, I'm saying that we're going to ask for a supernatural intervention. A supernatural fire from above. That will come down. As we pray right now that this virus, you and I will pray today and stop the virus from spreading. You have the authority. You have the commandment. You have the power. You can do it. And the Bible said to us, I behold, I have given you power 
over all these plans of the enemy. We got the power. We're going to say coronavirus. Hear ye the word of the Lord. We stop you from spreading in the nations. You will no longer spread. And wherever you have spread to, we command the fire of the Holy Ghost to devour you. In the name of Jesus, that fire will come down now. And as we pray, oh, Karamasanda, somebody get ready with me. Somebody is going to get ready with me. Somebody is going to begin to get ready as we speak in the spirit and as we're going to pray because I just felt late today that we should pray because God said revival is coming. I hear the voice of God say to me this morning, Reviver, 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 Reviver. And I say, Lord, what? God say, my hand is coming. Salvation is here. I see a lot of people coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus. And the Lord is saying to me, it is time for us to show forth the glory of God. Let me tell you, when you say it, it will happen. Put all those fears aside. And you and I will go into prayer. Somebody join me as we speak healing to the nations. As we speak miracle to the nation. As we speak without fear to the nation. The word of healing. The word of miracle. It is time for us to pray. Will somebody now join me as I have some of my brothers here. And, and some of the brethren here to join me in this prayer of agreement. We're going to pray as they're going to join me to pray from, from behind. They're going to join me to pray from behind. And we're going to pray right now. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, the Bible makes us to understand that whatsoever we agree upon here on earth, it shall be done unto us. He said, whatsoever we bind is bind in heaven. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Whatsoever we bind here is bind in heaven. And whatsoever we lose is lose in heaven. Today we want to take authority. Today we want to say there is an authority that God has given unto us. We want to declare that authority. We want to speak that authority. We want to declare that authority. That word of God that said to us in Matthew chapter 8 verse 17. The word of the Lord said he bear our infirmity. That is what the word of God says. He bear our infirmity. He bear our infirmity. He bear our infirmity. And today, let's begin to pray now. Let's begin to pray now. Begin to pray. Join me now and let us pray. Wherever you are, stand up and let's pray and decree and come against and command the fire of Elijah. That fire that came in the days of Elijah. Let that fire come down and devour every coronavirus. Let's take authority. Nepal in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we pray. As you join me to pray, as you join me to lose and to bind, we bind every corona, we destroy, we decree, we destroy every works of darkness. We bind every works of darkness, we destroy every activities of serpent and scorpion. In the name of Jesus, we pull their work down. We pull their works down. Menida Sandala Masi. I pray for the nation. I join you together in the spirit as we agree in this healing service. I agree with you today. We destroy every negative virus in the world. We prophesy healing to the nation. We decree the supernatural intervention and the power of God from all high in the name of Jesus. He bore our infirmity. He bore our infirmity. Ledu Shakaya, as it was spoken by Prophet Isaiah. He said he bore our infirmity. He took our infirmity. We decree Nele de Sunda la Makuria la Makasia. In the name of Jesus, we take authority. The Bible says, When I see the blood, I will pass over. Today we plead the blood of Jesus all over you. I said the corona will pass over you. Corona will pass over you. COVID-19 will pass over you. The plague will pass over you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
take authority. Brothers, let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you take authority. Let me hear you pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whatsoever we bind, in Matthew 18, verse 18, is bind in heaven. We bind every demonic force. We bind every activities of serpent and scorpion. We bind every tricks of the devil to sow doubt, to sow fear, to terrify the people. We bind every tricks and activities of the evil one. We take authority. Oh, command the fire of the Holy Ghost to come upon the nations of the world. Command the fire of the Holy Ghost to come upon South Africa, our nation. Let the fire of God destroy every pandemic, destroy every coronavirus. You have the authority as the church. You have authority as the church. You have been given the power as a church. Speak over our nation. Speak over the nations of the world. I command you, let us stop this virus. You got the power in your hand. The authority has been given to you. Somebody pray with me. We stop this corona. We bind it in South Africa. We bind it in America. We bind it in China. We bind it all over the world. We bind it in Kenya. We bind it in Nigeria. We bind it all over the continent of the world. We command the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Lore de me sanda la mana masaya. E karobobo sanda la masanda. E karababababababa shila masaya. Pray down the fire of God. Pray down the fire of God. Pray down the fire of God. Over the nation. Over the atmosphere. Over the atmosphere. Let the atmosphere be saturated with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the atmosphere be saturated with the fire from heaven. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, in the name of Jesus. 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 Mama, mama, shandala, masaka, baba, baba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, destroy every virus, every coronavirus over the nations of the world, over our nation, South Africa, over the nations of the world. I agree with you. In Jesus' name, we receive answer in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus, a special sprinkling of the blood of Jesus over our country. Let the blood of Jesus be sprinkled all over the nations of the world. Let the blood saturate the atmosphere. That Passover blood of Jesus, we saturate the atmosphere with the blood of the Lamb, with the blood of the Lamb, with the fire of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Let that fire keep burning in Jesus' name. And right now, church, we're going to pray. The Bible says in verse 20 of Psalm 107, verse number 20, he said, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Psalm 107, Psalm 107, verse 20. Psalm 107 verse 20 said, He, the Lord, sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. There is destruction that the enemy is trying to carry out in the war, but we're going to send the word of God. 
We're going to send the word of healing to those in isolation camps, to those in isolations in their homes, to those that don't, do not even know that they have been affected. We are going to send the word of God. Jesus, the Bible says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Deliverance is coming. Jesus sent his word. Join me now as we claim Psalm 107 verse 20. Where the Lord sent his word. We're going to send the word of healing. We are sending the word of miracle. Oh, somebody join me now according to the word of God. And let us send the word. Let us send the word. He sent his word. Wherever they are, let them hear the word of the Lord. I join my faith with you all. And I stretch forth my hand. Wherever those that have been affected, those that have been affected, it is high time the church rise up to begin to pray and show forth his praise and show forth his power. Let us not look into the media and begin to look into those news, those fake news, those news that bring terror terrifying news, those things that bring fear and doubt. It is time to look into the word of God and declare the word of God. It is not time for you to begin to look at what is causes, what causes Corona. This is not the time. Corona is Corona. It is not time for you and I to begin to say what is the cause. We should destroy it. Forget about how it comes. Forget about what is causing the sickness. What we know, there is a virus. There is a sickness affecting the people. Send the word of God and destroy that which is trying to destroy the people. He sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Today begin to deliver the people of God. Join me. Mandala Messiah. I can I, I agree with you, dear Destiny. I can see you, Daya. I can see you, Gavin. Vera, I agree with you in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Whatsoever two or three of us shall agree here or not, it shall be done. I agree with you, Lorraine Desri. Ready? I agree with you. And we pray in the name of Jesus. We bring down the fire. We bring down the word of God. We send the word of God to the nations of the world. I will send the word of God to the nation. Michelle, I agree with you. I agree with you, Michelle. Session Pile, I agree with you as a man of God. We are praying the prayer of agreement. We plead the blood of Jesus in the atmosphere. I agree with you, Brother Terry Mandry. I agree with you, Larissa Pile, Lamba La Shanda, Mata. I agree with you, Brother Tulsi. We agree, Eugene, Vimla, all of you. I agree with you, Venetia. We pray the prayer of agreement, Odete. I agree with you. Jorah, I agree. We pray. We send the word of God to rescue the people that are sick. Eva, I agree. We deliver them from the destruction in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Kandala Mashanda Baba. Somebody pray in the spirit. Sandy, Nathan, I agree with you, Sandy. And I pray in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God, we stand. King Gavenda, I agree with you. Mantala Mamashaya. We destroy the destroyer. We destroy the destroyer. We destroy the destroyer. By the reason of the anointing, the yoke is broken. We break every yoke. We claim our victory. Merrill, I agree with you. By the blood of Jesus, we claim it in Jesus' name. Juan, I agree with you. We claim it, Suji. We agree in the name of Jesus. Lalina Sumba Lala Kushele Metela La Messiah. Oh, Mama. We agree. We rescue the war. All the people that are sick. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shama Mama. Mambra Namasika Radabaya. Cancel every virus from the wall. We cancel them in Jesus' name. Let me hear Zion children pray and cancel. God will hear you today. God will hear you today. Back, throw every arrow back to the sender. 
Colina Visa Nana Nasaya, Joila Mama Mama Macuria, Lorre de 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 Mantra la disca papaya la nakasika, lelina duske mama haya, lucipa la la latina makoria, lisa manda kukololisha bababaya. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Eh, la 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 la. The word of God says we are more than conqueror. Kusheli mama haya. Plead the blood of Jesus. We dissolve and nullify this virus. In the name of Jesus. Shalom, mama. Every dry bone. Dry bone shall live again. Oh, there is power in your mouth. There is power in the word that you declare. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, people of God. All the people affected, we release a supernatural healing virtue. A supernatural healing virtue upon all those. That has been affected by this virus. In Jesus name. I pronounce you healed. We command you receive your miracle. And every spirit behind this. Will destroy you. In the name of Jesus. We raise a cry. From the upper room of heaven. Upon the nations. Upon territories. We say no plague shall come near our dwelling. In Jesus name. Come Mima. Now people of God. Can you join me to pray? As we try to round up our intercessory prayer. Can you pray for all our public health workers? Can you pray for the fire of the Holy Ghost to come upon all the public health workers in the nations of the world? They are doing great job. Let the protective hand of God come upon all of them. Let them become immune to every corona. By his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. And let us declare supernatural grace upon the health workers that all of them will bear virtues of healing. Virtues of miracle. Let mantle from heaven fall upon everyone. Every public health workers. Every doctor in across the nations of the world. We decree grace upon them. We decree fire upon them. We command the glory of God to come upon them. We release supernatural healing upon our doctors. Upon our government official. We say no. This is a lie of the devil. We cancel it. We say let our doctors. Let our public health workers. Receive divine wisdom. Divine knowledge. A speedy knowledge should be granted unto them divinely to end this in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, God can walk through oh, them. Yes. None of them shall die. They shall live in the name of Jesus to see the mercy of God. If you don't pray for them, church, and you are busy searching what is the cure, what is the problem, how the coronavirus came, I told you from day one, church, I'm not interested in all that theories. All I'm interested, you got power to put them down. Stop looking for what causes corona. I, I wonder to see, I wonder when I see phones have been bombarded with theories. It's time for us to call on the God of heaven to devour and not to begin to look at the source, how it came from, what, how, what causes it, what causes the sickness. The blood of Jesus is here, church. When the church humble themselves and bow them themselves and humble themselves and cry to the God of heaven, God will perform wonders. Oh my God. Cover our health workers. Let God bring solution. Let God bring speedy solution. Let God touch them in the name of Jesus. Let God give them the faith as they are going forward. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus rain down like a rain. Thank you, Father. And let me tell you, church, in the midst of this pandemic, I told you from the beginning, I see revival. I see harvest of soul. Can the church join me? Let the spirit of salvation fall in the air. 
Let people in their houses, let people in their houses hearing me all over the world, call Jesus into your home. Healing is coming into your house. Call Jesus into your life and say, I surrender all to you. I give my life to you. Write my name in the book of life. I repent and I say, Lord, wash me clean with your precious blood. I surrender all unto you. In Jesus' name, be my Lord and my personal Savior. I am washed by the blood of Jesus. I am saved by the blood of Jesus. Forgive me all my sin. In Jesus' name, we pray. As you do this prayer with me, salvation has come unto you. I see healing belong to Jesus. Deliverance belong to Jesus. And Jesus has come into your life. I see revival is a time for harvest. Is a time for harvest. Is a time for repentance. Repentance is the key. And as you give yourself and surrender all to Jesus, let me tell you, you will see that you will be free because the angel of death will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Surrender all to Jesus. All to Jesus is the key. Behold, Luke 10, 19, I have given you power. I have given you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. I see revival in every home. I see revival in every factory. I see revival in every corporate organization. I see revival in government parastatus. I see revival in government houses. I see fire of God. I see people embracing God. I see people now saying, God, I am looking up to you. I have never seen a time like this that people have ever come together to seek Jehovah. This is the greatest time that I've seen even the greatest, the atheists seeking the creator. The Lord knows what he's doing. There is a purpose and a meaning behind this. There is a purpose and a meaning behind this. Victory belongs to Jesus. I see great harvest of soul and I see more souls, more souls, more souls, more souls. Shelemane Kasaya. Go ahead and win soul. Mama la shinda la mashaila makoria la makashika. Glory be to God. Somebody today. Just plead the blood of Jesus on your home. I see the blood of Jesus. We are covered. I am led today to offer this prayer. I didn't come to preach to you. There are many preaching going on in the air, which is good, which is the word of God. But at the same time, we need to cry unto heaven. We need to call down fire from heaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need to say, Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive in our country, in our soul. It's a time for soul harvest. It's an end time harvest. It's part of the end time harvest. People are coming in mass, giving their life to Jesus. Every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. It's a time. There's a meaning to what is going on. Stop looking for the cause. Stop looking for the cause. Thank you. You're praying from Namibia. Joanna Philmon, all the way from Namibia. God bless you as we join faith together. Oh, all of you watching me from all over, wherever you are watching from, I agree with you. Just mention to me where you are watching me live from in this prayer. And I'm agreeing with you. There is no distance in prayer. Jesus sent his word and it's what he led them. I see some of you from Kenya. see some of you from Namibia. And I know there's a lot of you. I saw one of I saw somebody also from North Carolina. Oh, my brother Rodney uh, Camp. God bless you all the way from the United States. God bless you. I'm telling you, we are raining down fire today from heaven. And as you stand there, I agree with you. And I said in Jesus' name, God performed miracle in America too. In the name of Jesus and in our beloved country, South Africa, and the nations of the world. And the whole nations of the world. We stop this virus in Jesus' name. Oh my God. Can somebody join me, worship the Lord? And release the fire of heaven. And as people begin to give their life to Christ. 
If you want to send your request, you can send your request, Pastor Rene Naika. God bless you as we agree together and release this fire. Beryl Mensami, you were blessed. Tell me where you come from. You were blessed. The Holy Ghost is bringing conviction, fire of conviction, fire of conviction in the air. I see the fire of conviction. God is transcending into great distance and performing wonder. Lala makashi yala makalila. I see Sameshin ready all the way from Durban. God bless you from Durban. Sameshin ready. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, as you allow me to see where you are viewing from, where you are looking at this live broadcast from. God increase you and bless you. La 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 ma shaya la ma na ma. There is no distance in the realms of the spirit. God is performing wonders today. Speak in the spirit wherever you are. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic service. God led me today to join you in prayer. To agree with you in prayer. As we worship the Lord. Is, is an hour that I set aside today to pray. And let us raise a prayer to God. I see wonders. We're going to be having good news soon. We're going to be having good news soon. Oh, we're going to have good news in the world. Good news in South Africa. Good news in Nigeria. Good news in America. Rowena Hendricks, I agree with you. We agree the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Fire of the Holy Ghost destroyed. Oh, somebody all the way from Upumalanga, I agree with you. Terishni Pile. I agree with you from Upumalanga. We agree together. Lala Mishamana. Fire from heaven is a time of intercession. God asks me, lift up a voice and cry. Lift up a voice and let the children of God stand wherever they are in their homes, in their cars, and let us lift up a prayer unto God. Hallelujah, Sister Godia. Uh, uh, record, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, Sister Godia, Mabaki, you are blessed. As we agree together, La La Nisha Mala Masaya La Makahila Mama Sandy Nathan from Durban North. I agree with you, Lolifa Bisnat. God bless you. I agree with you. Lushi Mamante La Mina Kaya. Holo Glory. Glory be to God. God will hear the cry of the saint as we ignite this fire of healing. Juanet Abechi. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Ravishka Lohan, I agree with you all. Destiny, there is power in the prayer of agreement. I agree. Jane Gavenda, it's a prayer time. God said when you and I agree, things will happen. Oh my God, I see fire being ignited in homes. Fire being ignited in homes. Fire being ignited in the life of people. Vanessa, fire ignited. We serve a God of miracle. Every sickness and diseases are divorced. Calvin, I agree with you. Pilamena Mikeshia. We send this fire in the name of Jesus all over. Godfrey Francis. I agree with you, Godfrey Francis. And Kogi, all of you watching, is fire of revival. Oh, la biba ba ba ba. Prayer is a prayer bring changes and solution. Memele Kashia is a prayer situation. Kumnandi Pikwa, I agree with you. Dokas Pikwa, all of you joining from home, I agree. Malala Nena Kina Moshele Mila Mia. Joanna Philemon. Enele Shandolo Sika Bitusilia. Brother Dion, I agree with you, brother. Oh, Dion Rady, the God of Elijah, send down fire. Shandal Mian. I agree with you, Shandal. God is healing our nation. Sherin Gavenda, Sherin Gavenda, Phoebe Kamato, I agree with you. Mata Chalom from Kenya, Mata Achisa, I agree with you. All the way from Kenya, the fire of God be ignited in Kenya in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shelamia Mama, Daya, Johnson Daya will agree. We agree, we agree, we agree. Mindololo Bokoshia, as we worship the Lord with this great sound of music. Holo mo 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 shaya raba ba 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 yes hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus thank you Lord 
Thank you, Jesus. Mempula ni na kushile mina mikuskila mama 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 mbula la mushkere ni mikushila mama mama mama. Worship the Lord now with me as we bring this prayer to round up in agreement. Worship with me with this sound of worship and praise. Yes. Every dry bones. Dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones are rising. Dry bones are rising. I speak to the state of the whole world. Like Ezekiel spoke to the nations of the state of Israel and, and say, Dry bones live again. We join our faith again and we speak. Dry bones speak to the state of the whole world. Dry bones live again. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For this powerful section, people of God, I feel charged up in the spirit. This is what God has called me to do today. Larissa, I agree with you, Pile. God has called me to raise a voice of intercession. Sylvia January, I agree with you too. There is power when we all agree. Same time next Tuesday, we're going to move into another section of the prophetic. And the Lord will lead me. And we agree and believe God that by that near sticks Tuesday, we're going to have testimony. Enver Marimoto, I agree with you. We're going to have testimony. We believe in there's going to be a breakthrough in the world. We have come to stop the enemy. We arise from every angle to pray today. I see a great onslaught on the kingdom of darkness. Is a fire that we've released. And I've seen healing in the nations. So people of God, you are blessed. And any one of you that is sick, Lynette Abechi, always agree with me, my wonderful woman of God that has been with me for 20 more seven years, praying and fasting with me all the time. May the Lord increase you, Lynette Abechi. That is my beloved wife also sending that powerful agreement with me, watching at the same time. Lean it more grace to your elbow. Fire coming down today. Thank you, Lean it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I see people. Anisha Pravda, you are a prayer warrior. Thank you for agreeing with me. Thank you, all of you, Lynette Singh. Thank you, all of you. Vimla, I can't mention all of you agree with me. It's just too much. The whole world, we have called down heaven and we are believing God that our president will announce a breakthrough very soon in the nation, in our nation. And the nations of the world too will be blessed. We're going to see a breakthrough soon. Oh, oh, we receive it. And I say glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. People of God, same time next week, if you are blessed and you want to partner with us, please click on Jesus House Ministries Durban and go to our Facebook page. And I know there are people who God have led and they've told me, Pastor, I want to partner with you. How can I do it? And some of them have seen your seed. God bless you as you sow your seed. I saw those seed that you sow. God bless you. Anista been there. God bless you. I can see you agree with me. So when you go to our Facebook line, live, you're going to see our banking details and you will sow as the Lord leads you. But I can see a lot of you have sown. God bless you. Our God who see it in secret rewards openly. He will reward you. I can only say thank you and God bless you. But I can tell you nothing that is done for God that, is, that will go unrewarded. And I know you've been partnering with me for long. I just want to say a big thank you to all of you as you partner with me once again in your tithe, in your seed offering. So go in now and key in your supernatural seed and agree with me and say this seed I seal this prayer. It's a seed of thanksgiving. And I sow this seed. If you know you are blessed, God bless you as you do that. But don't forget to send me prayer request. Don't forget to send me your prayer request and call on our prayer line. It's also on our Facebook page. God bless you. 
God bless you. Now, can you join me? And let us say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall continue to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. God bless you all. Kumendi, I see you there. You are blessed. All of you, you are blessed. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name.